everyone, this is Smeya from User Guiding. Today, I will give you a quick tour of our newest feature, Source Center, and show how to create your own. But first, let me explain what Resource Centers are. With Resource Centers, you can collect and organize all your onboarding materials under one roof and allow users to search and read them without having to leave your interface. So, let's go ahead and create one together. Starting on user guidance dashboard, let's click on resource center and then new resource center. Here you can see the live preview of our resource center, which we can go ahead and start to fill out by changing the title and customizing it. So for the title, we can write hey all basically and for the subtitle need help can be enough. And after scrolling down the page, here we are at the heart of the resource center. In the resource center, you can add multiple sections of content, which we call modules. As you see, there are three main modules, guides, checklists, and external URLs. The first module is guides. Let's call it welcome guide. And we can write finding a blog post in a sea of content for the description. And then let's choose guide. And let's choose emoji. And heart to eyes will be better. And that's it. For the second model, it is checklists. And again, let's pick a header, an emoji and description for it. And let's write your checklist for the header and let's write essential guides for the description and let's choose a checklist and add an emoji and this emoji will be pretty and yes and third comes external URLs let's give it a header description and emoji once again we can write check out our blog and for the description, we can write the best user onboarding content out there. And for the URL, of course, I'm writing our blog. And that's it. And of course, don't forget to add an emoji. Let's choose a book emoji. And yes, that's it. And finally, my favorite part of Resource Center is search function, which allows you to integrate any external knowledge base to your Resource Center so users can search and display it in a widget. And here, by enabling in widget display function, users will be able to search, scroll through, and read your articles in the resource center widget without leaving your interface. And you know what? It is very easy to set up. So let's type our knowledge base URL here and give it a try. And let's preview it. And as you can see, we can search and read articles without leaving the page. And that's it. You are now able and ready to get started with your own resource center. So see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.